All right, we're back with some more Mass Effect today. It's a wonderful Tuesday. We are going to go after the Just Car today. But first, I am curious Madam, about. I think you'll want to talk to Garrus. Talking to Garrus, and um, I want to figure out how to see the outfits for Miranda and. Um, Tali that I've acquired. I don't remember that being there. What's this area of the ship? This is the commanding officer's mm -hmm. quarters. Never mind. It's larger than the quarters of other warships I've served on. This is a Cerberus vessel, not an Alliance warship. Accommodations have been made for personal taste. That said, this space is directly under the exterior pressure hall. The fitting yard workers called it the loft. Yeah, that's nice. I like you. Okay. Um I have a terminal. Can I how do you Is it um how do you change that? The terminal? No. Do you status, maybe? Ah, okay. Okay, she. What? What? Let's try that one. What, what do you have? I wish these were normal colors. Yeah, the messed up one has his, his character. Ooh. No, that's weird. Let's not do that. Uh. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a um, a lot better. Ooh. I want to see how she actually looks. That looks like it's green. But it's kind of hard to tell with the red tint. It's green. We'll ask her how easy it is to be green. And I hope she doesn't slap me. Thanks again, Shepard. Taking the time to help me with my sister. I couldn't have reached Ariana in time without your help. I kind of like it. I'm glad Niket tried to redeem himself for what good it did. Thank you for stopping me, Commander. It's nice to see you smiling, isn't it? It's funny, I think of you as all business. Good to see that there's a person under there. Hello. The mission's too important to let personal feelings interfere. But thank you, Commander. My sister is safe again thanks in large part to you. I won't forget that. Okay. I like the new outfit, so we'll hang on to that. Rupert, there's something different with tonight's meal. Seems like you put in more food and less ass. Yeah, yeah, keep talking. I talk to everybody in a while. How can I help you, Commander? You have everything you need. Absolutely. Since you set up my kitchen with proper supplies, thanks again. I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. All right. <clears throat> I think this is where Garris is, yeah. What's that dude? Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I've got something. I may need your help. 
You remember Sidonis, the one who betrayed my team? I found a lead on him. There's a specialist on the Citadel. Name's Fade. He's an expert at helping people disappear. Sidonis was seen with him. What happened? How did Sidonis betray your team? He tipped off the mercs, told them where our base was. He drew me out with a false job, then let the mercs hit my team. My men weren't prepared. They tried to hold them off. By the time I got back, there were only two survivors. They didn't last long. All ten of them dead. Because of him. What are you planning to do when you find him? You humans have a saying. An eye for an eye, a life for a life. He owes me ten lives, and I plan to collect. You sure that's how you want to play it? I'm sure. I don't need you to agree with me, but I'd like your help. I'll do it for you, bud. Where do we find Fade? Where is he? I've arranged a meeting. We'll meet him in a warehouse near the Neon Markets down on Zakara Ward. Thanks, Shepard. I appreciate you taking the time to help me. Sounds like a fun time. Let's go talk to Dr. Chick fil A. I haven't seen her in a while. Commander, I very much enjoyed sharing that ice brandy with you, but I hope I wasn't too unprofessional. Brandy goes straight to my head. Hmm. It's nice to see you let your hair down. Guess I hadn't realized how much those feelings needed airing, but I didn't give you much of a chance to vent. So tell me now, what do you think? Everyone's depending on us. We won't let them down. They just don't make them like you anymore, Shepard. Well. Promise no. me we'll share a bottle every year. The next one is on me. It's hard to do when the one that's like me costs six billion credits. I think it's over there. No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, still nothing in there. Starboard observation. The starboard observation deck is closed until maybe that's where the Jester car goes. What over here? What's wrong? They lost contact with New Canton. Might be the collectors. Did your family get out Seems like I've heard that. I don't know. There's no communications yet. I'm sure there's. Oh hey, there's Mr. Thing. Do you need something? Your voice just kind of. Gives me the willies. Uh, yeah. Have a few minutes to talk? Certainly. We haven't had a chance since I joined. When we met you, you said you were dying. Yes. I thought you'd want to know more. You don't have to worry about the rest of the crew. My illness is not communicable, even to other Drell. It's called Keprel's syndrome. Are you going to be all right until the end of the mission? I should be fine for another eight to twelve months. The more time I spend in humid environments, the faster it progresses. I think it's safe to say that by the time my body is incapacitated, we'll be victorious. Or dead. Either way, I won't be a burden to you. What exactly is the problem? My people are native to an arid world. Most of us now live on Kaje, the Hanar homeworld. It's very humid and rains every day. Our lungs can't deal with the moisture. Over time, the tissue loses its ability to absorb oxygen. It becomes harder to breathe. Eventually, we suffocate. Can't they do something about that? The Hammer have funded a genetic engineering program. They should be able to adapt us. The project has only been running for a few years. I don't believe my body will still draw breath by the time it bears fruit. Hmm. Is there anything we can do here? Normandy has a state-of-the-art medical bay. No, thank you. It's being attended to. If the finest medical minds in the Hammer illuminated primacy can't solve the problem, I doubt your ship's medic could. Thank you for your concern. Trust me, this won't affect my performance. Look at Lives. Oh, that's just the door. 
Chased him down, tackled him, and took the painting. That's how KG and I met. We never did turn it into our employers. That sounds a little romantic. Is it me? Hey, got a minute? Of course. I really appreciate your help with the Hawk Heist. I've been going through KG's gray box. It's so nice to have him back. Even in that form, I miss him. Liara Tassoni's got quite a reputation. Nothing. I've done business with her people before. Nothing really new going on here. Sue me. There's the party. Um. That was there. Yeah, let's see if they got anything to say. Then we'll go to the. Lower floor. Still need to get to Trachanka, Shepard. My students are being held by Blood Pack. Okay. I'll talk to you later, Morton. We'll be here if you need me. We'll be here. We'll be here. I said we. That was strange. I hope we can clear up what's going on with the Gurns back, Commander. Doubt my father's alive after all this time. Was there anything else? Just eager to get going. Not we'll yet. talk later. Commander. Okay. I'm sure there's probably something to talk to Tally about. Since she's new. Let's see if the is still holding up. Have time now, Shepard. I want, I need to deal with this. I'm listening. What's the issue? Something is wrong, Shepard. I this feel wrong, in the window. tense. I just want to yeah. kill something with my hands. More so than you see. Okay. Pure Krogan probably starts more aggressive than most. I'm not seeing this. It doesn't as matter if it's normal. I want control. I'm tankborn. What is this? Uh, I I need that. Don't know if I can help, Brent. Sounds like we need one of your kind to look into this. Most off-world Krogan are warriors. I won't ask you to go there. I will control okay, this. Okay, we're going to Tuchanka. Joker can get us to the Krogan home. Thank you, Shepard. I don't. Mind. All right. Fine. Hey. Okay. And what's his face is down there. I want to talk to Tally. There's Tally. Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? We didn't really have time to chat while taking out Gath on Haystrup, did we? I can't believe so many people died. Thank you again for getting Rieger out alive. All for data about stars blowing up. I hope the Admiralty Board gets some use out of it. Have you heard any word about Cal Rieger? Did he survive his injuries? He sent me a message. It looks like he'll make a full recovery. Any time you get a suit puncture, it's a matter of luck. Rieger got out with a relatively minor infection. Tell me about the fleet's Admiralty Board. It's one of two major political powers among my people. The Admirals make decisions related to defense or needing immediate action. They also handle major criminal charges, like treason. The other political power is the Conclave, a group of representatives from each ship. They make most of our laws and fleet decisions. Any news yet on the data you sent? I'm not likely to hear anything for a while, or on an unsecured channel for that matter. Hmm. Having any trouble settling back in on the Normandy? I like the quiet. I miss the old faces, though. Presley, Engineer Adams, all of them. It doesn't seem right having Cerberus in charge of this ship. Are you sure working for them is the right thing to do? 
I caught some tension back on Freedom's progress and again when he first came aboard. What happened between Cerberus and the Quarians? They attacked one of our ships, the Idena. It seems they were attempting to kill or control a young human biotic who was on the fleet. I don't really know the details. I do know that Cerberus made an enemy of the Quarian people. Does it look like they're pulling the strings, Tally? I'm not working for them. They're working for me. So you ordered the listening devices and tracking beacons that are all over this ship. I know you need resources to fight the Collectors, but be careful, Shepard. Mm -hmm. I fully expect them to betray us at some point, and we'll be ready. I'm glad to hear that, Shepard. Just let me know how I can help. For now, I should get back to work. Thanks for coming by. Okay. Um... Gabby, you'd say that Normandy is a she and not a he, right? Of course. Normandy is the sweetest girl there is. And Edie's a she. Tally's definitely a she. What are you getting at, Kenneth? I'm just saying I'm feeling a wee bit threatened here. A lot of female energy, and I'm just one man. You're such a dick. See? Look where your mind went. I've got to watch out for myself. I got your back, Donnelly. I can take care of at least two of them. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Let's get back to business. Yep. Okay, talk to Garrus. Anything else, uh, Gummy? How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? Uh, That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Well, maybe three. Hmm, okay. Um, just a guard time. Um, just a guard. And go see the Viara, apparently. Squad gains the effect of incendiaries. Ooh. Okay, that's what I was hearing about. You can get the whole squad the thing. Um Interesting. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, let's get one and two of that. And then, I think maybe I'll do Disruptor and Incendiary to level four. I don't use cryo, but I definitely use those two a lot. And the grenade. 
is neat. Maybe I'll do that one next. Miranda, you've got three points. I think I'm going to wait for Overlord level four. Overload level four. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Kali's got some stuff to do. Kali's combat skills have got the damage. Okay. Oh, she's got a combat drone. Let's see here. Ah, uh, she needs power today. Okay. Not bad. Okay, uh, hacking energy drain. Drains can enemies kinetic barrier to power to boost your shit. Okay, yeah, we need to have that. Not do it. Let's see. Why not? Required combat drone rank two. Okay. Now we've got it. Do that. And combat drone. Hmm. Kind of like the AI hacking thing here. Okay, and Kali is using the shotgun and the pistol. Okay. And Miranda has. There, that's fine. Let's go. How do you? Isn't that the same one? No, maybe not. I don't know. Who's going to do anyway? Yep. We are one hot looking trio. That's the air. Commander, a pleasure to see you again. Can I help you with something? Um. No. Thank you. Have a pleasant visit, Nos Astra, Commander. Let's go see Liara first. Very few Corians ever set foot here. Ilium doesn't allow the flotilla to approach beyond a certain distance. This is the greatest planet in the galaxy for those who can afford it, and they work hard to keep the Quarian fleet away. Well, that's just silly. You should try it my way. Look at how the wind's blowing. Uh... I... Well, I guess it's not like I attack those colonies. I'm just on the trails. Whatever you say. Pardon me. Sell. Sell it for me. See, what do you have here? Stick your hack now. Uh, I'm going to it very doubles the time limit for bypass. I'm bonus plus 20. You know, I've got plenty of credits. Yeah, we will be good. <clears throat> now, what's this? All right. Let's do it. Hang on. Uh, I'm not worried it. Oh, just get it. So the total comes to one hundred and sixteen thousand four hundred and twenty credits. Oh, of course I. Uh... 
What a shame. Mm. I guess I'll check out the uh, bar. Slave broker. We'll figure something out. Stop worrying. It's okay. I'll think of something. You said synthetic insights would buy me. You said it was an easy sale. I assumed they would want an AI tech. Hello. Can I help you with something? Uh. Have you made this quarry in your slave? We prefer the term indentured servants. Before you do anything hasty, know that this quarry and sign the agreement voluntarily, and her servitude contract is completely legal on Ilium. If you actually want to help the quarry, convince the Synthetic Insights representative to purchase her contract. Why did this quarry sign herself into slavery? I tried to play the stock market. I'm good with numbers, and I thought I had a way to make unlimited money. I lost everything. Then I got a credit line and lost that. Then I took out an illegal loan. You get the picture. As part of our agreement, I paid off her debts. Five years from now, she'll have a fresh start and excellent work references. Huh. Sounds great. Unless you lose her paperwork or come up with a reason to hold her longer. All contracts are monitored by Ilium Law Enforcement. In a case such as you described, the burden of proof would be on me. No system is perfect, but safeguards are set up to protect all parties. Alright. If slavery is legal, then why are you trying to sell the quarry? I don't keep service contracts myself. I'm a contract broker. I assumed Synthetic Insights would jump at the chance for a skilled AI tech, but they won't even make me an offer. Maybe they don't like Koreans. What if I bought her myself? I could let her go and everyone would be happy. A gallant offer with three problems. First, her technical skill merits a contract of several hundred thousand credits. Yeah. There's also a fee for freeing me before my service period ends. Exactly. And finally, you are clearly a traveler. Her service contract requires that she remain on Ilium. I don't want them to take me off to a mine somewhere. You should work for Liara. I'll talk to the Synthetic Insights rep and see what I can do. Really? Thank you. I'd appreciate that. Let's go wave a gun in their face. That usually works. In here? Nope. Okay. Uh, if you're looking for things to do, maybe after a work... Alright, here we go. Anti-screw-up save. Here we go. Can I help you with something? How would you like to get your hands on an expert quarry and AI program? If you'd like to submit a resume, I... Wait. Is this that slave? Duh. Synthetic Insights has no interest in purchasing slave labor. We're under enough scrutiny from the Citadel without engaging in practices the Council disapproves of. To be frank, we're hardly hiring anyone. The Geth attack on the Citadel didn't engender much love for artificial intelligence. It sounds like Synthetic Insights is worried about its reputation. Hiring the quarry would help. Buying a slave helps our reputation. How exactly do you figure? Purchase the contract, minus the fee for early emancipation, then free the quarry and garnish wages for reimbursement. I know the migrant fleet would be grateful, and more likely to make purchases from you. Interesting. We look good for hiring a quarry and we can say that we freed slaves out of the goodness of our hearts. All right, I'll run up a contract. The board might wet its pants, but we could use the good publicity. This Corian had better be good, though. Yeah. There we go. That's about that good deed of the day right there. Bartender, what you doing? Welcome back, babe. Can I get you anything? Sorry, no sex. Just clean the bar. What about the floor? The floor is, uh, uh, uh... Just looking around. Pleasure as always. It's a new floor. Uh, yeah. Well, we'll see what they got to say. I don't understand. Humans celebrate wedding contracts by tempting infidelity? That makes no sense. Calm down, man. Embarrass me in front of the stripper. What do Turians do? Do Turians do this too? I'm just here for the drinks. 
Yeah, you're one of those people that reads the magazine for the articles too, I bet. Let's see what the R is doing. I'm looking for the best tech upgrades you have. Try legs. Of course. I'll never get tired of the legs. Commander Shepard, Viara will be pleased to see you. I'll talk to you later. Of okay, course, then. Commander. You didn't have to stand up. Leave that to me. Wait a minute. That could be taken wrong. Uh, Liara, hello. Shepard, it's good to see you again. So, what can I do for you? Uh. How's your own work going? The data you gave me was extremely helpful. It gave me a target. Ooh. The Shadow Broker has several contacts here on Ilium. The most powerful is someone called the Observer. Taking down the Observer will put me closer to the Shadow Broker. I could use your help. Tell me what I can do to help. Your data pointed me at logs kept by Shadow Broker agents. The logs were deleted, but it may be possible to reconstruct some of it. The Shadow Broker is cautious. His agents are referred to only by their title and race. My inquiries have narrowed the Observer down to one of five operatives. A Turian, a Salarian, a Krogan, a Batarian, and a Vorcha. If you can refine the list, I'll know where to strike. Uh, that's a lot of candidates. Do you have any specifics on these agents? I'm afraid not. Nixeris was lucky to get as much as she did. I was happy to help, ma'am. The data is our only hope of determining which one is the Observer. And if we wait too long, they'll all disappear. All right. I'll reconstruct the data and tell you what I find. Thank you, Shepard. When you find something, call me on the radio channel we used in the old days. I can't risk handling this in person. There's an Asari named Samara here on Ilium. Do you know where I can find her? Samara? Yes. She arrived recently and registered with Tracking Officer Dara. You can find Dara at the Transportation Hub. Why would Samara have to register with a Tracking Officer? Is she a criminal? No. In fact, she's quite the opposite. Samara is a Justicar, one of an ancient sect of Asari okay. warriors. Dara can tell you more. Yeah. Thanks for the help. That's all I needed to know. Of course. If there's anything else I can help you with, let me know. I'll talk to you later, Liara. Alright, let's go. Hey, there you go. What is it? I'm in the middle of an important call. I have something for you. I overheard you talk. Is this the data you're looking for? The Corosa Generational Archive. You found it. Thank you. My whole family has been worried. That data is irreplaceable. I didn't think I'd get it back from Nasana's corporate building. Why is this data so important anyway? It's a genetic history for the entire Corosa family. It's used for high-level reproductive negotiations. It would be like a human pedigree, I suppose. Without it, you're bargaining from a greatly weakened position. Losing this would have hurt my family for generations, maybe even destroyed it. Yikes. If this data is so important, why didn't you have backups? We did. A rival family introduced a computer virus and our techs were sloppy. The virus destroyed all our data. I just spent a fortune getting the data recovered and reconstructed when Nisana went crazy. We live in a world of infinite data redundancy. To lose something so important because of one crazy Asari? Yeah. There's your data. I hope it helps your family. You have no idea, human. I, I don't know who you are or how you got it, but thank you. Here, for your trouble. Blessings be upon you. You've certainly blessed us. Yeah, all right.
Excuse me, you know where I can find Serena? She's not here anymore. Oh, you're the one she was helping out. She took a job off-world. Didn't say where. She gave me something for you. Looks like a message. She didn't say anything else? She just gave me that and left. Not even a goodbye. Strange. Okay, what is it? Hey, Shepard. I was on my way to a new life when the new burst arrived. The bitch is dead. I assume that means your friend is alive and he finished his job. Tell him if I ever see him, I'll buy him a drink. Better not wait very long. Okay. I thought this, that was for the, just the car person would be. are right there on the package. It's legally required. Who reads labels, though? So consider it a way to weed out the people too stupid to know their limits. Hmm. Oh, there's Officer Dar. Okay. Check these people over here first. Maybe a shirt. Or a card. Helium. Hey, you're blue shifting already. That's funny, right? A sorry skin color and the Doppler effect? You're sure gateway weapons and armor are good enough for Eclipse? Good damage. Oh yeah, maybe use those now. Amplifier plates. Let's see. Some the protection of the internal weapons. Power damage. Yes! Well, they were cheap, let's go ahead. And get it. I need to go back to Omega. Yeah, I've got a friend in Eclipse. She told I think me there are some that I needed to get. Good. I'm pretty good at bypassing firewalls. Maybe they're looking for. I'm telling you, relax. Dax will never notice a few missing pieces. No, I can't get in because it's a crime scene. It's all locked down. Eclipse marks some just a car. I don't know. Nobody is ever going to see the extra merchandise, which is why we're going to be rich. I thought I could talk to her. Okay. I'm on a call. Fine. Okay. Alright, nobody over there anymore to talk to me. Anything this way. Sometimes you say these things and I don't know. Maybe it's because you had a Batarian father. Did you get the star charts? Yeah. I had to deal with Arinya though. I feel like I need a shower. What do you expect? She's a pure blood. They're all like that. Ah, uh, Dara. Samara's still at the commercial spaceport if you're looking for her. You can hail a cab at the pedestal on that balcony over there. Let's go. Oh, okay. Well, I still want the same people. Um. Where do you think you're going? I'm taking my goods to Omega, Detective. You're not going anywhere, Merchant. Not until I solve this murder. Ooh. I had nothing to do with that. It was those mercenary thugs you can't seem to get rid of. The victim was your business partner, and I'm not ruling you out. I'll let you know when you can leave. What about that Justicar that just showed up? Everyone says she might go crazy and start killing. I need to leave. She'll only kill the unjust, so I'm sure you have nothing to worry about, Pitney for. 
Find me in the station if you need me. Ooh. She's a little spicy. Nice guns. Try not to use them in my district. What can I do for you? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. If you've got a score to settle with Samara, take it somewhere else. I've got more than enough trouble here already. I need to recruit Samara for my mission. Then we'll be on our way. Justicars usually work alone. But they are drawn to impossible causes. I got a good one. We've got that covered. <laughs> getting her out of my district, I'll get you to her ASAP. She's at the crime scene. You're letting her into a sealed crime scene? I'm a cop. I'll work with the Justicar all I can. Besides, she's been looking at crime scenes longer than our two lifespans combined. She knows how to handle herself. You're awfully anxious to get Samara out of your district. My bosses want me to detain her. They're worried she'll cause some kind of cross-species incident. But her Justicar code won't let her be taken into custody. If I try it, she'll have to kill me. I have no interest in dying, so if you lure her away with some big noble cause before I have to carry out my orders, I'm thrilled to help you. Your superiors are sending you to certain death for no good reason. You have a right to disobey. Let's remember that next time Shepard sets us up against impossible <laughs> odds. That's about twice a day. Hey! You survived. I didn't. Most of the time I'm not being stupid about it. I can't say the same for Anaya's superiors. I'm a cop and I know my duty. I've been ordered to detain her and I will. Unless I can get her to leave my district first. How do I get to the crime scene? It's around the corner. Go outside, take a left. Look for the police line. I'll send word to let you in. Be careful. The local Eclipse mercs have been all over those back alleys hmm. lately. Alright. I have to go. <laughs> Good luck. <sighs> We'd better find Samara before the detective goes after her. I like how shiny Miranda is. The yellow. It's a nice accent. Looks kind of like that officer uniform I have. Well, the formal get up I had on at the party, anyway. Uh, it's very officer ish. There we go. That's probably the. There's a police line over there. Hey, sport official! Hello! I wanted to be a just a car when I was young. Every sorry does, I guess. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. Okay. There's the elevator. Leaving a pass car. Okay, police line. Interior worker. Hello? Cops don't admit it, but the Eclipse sisters are on this area. Oh, Alright. Okay. Any deal going on over here? I bet 
Betty. What do you want? I've already got mercs wanting to kill me like they did my partner. I don't need any more trouble. As if that weren't enough, some Asari Justicar showed up this morning. All the natives are scared of her. I've got to get off this world. <clears throat> Has Samara actually done anything yet? The Asari say that Justicars are lethal in a fight. And if they so much as smell corruption, they start shooting. The thing is, corruption isn't that hard to find around here. Yeah. Tell me how to find the Justicar. She's in the alley where my business partner was murdered. A detective sealed the area, so you'll have to talk with her if you want to go there. Thank you, sir. I should go. Okay, anything else? Okay, please let that out. Anaya told us to let you through. Watch yourself. There's merc activity back here. We're waiting on backup. Oh, I'm going through it. Let's consider this extra stock surplus. Ship the rest of Dax at his normal destination. He'll never miss a few lost pieces. Ooh. Upload this. Huh. Okay. Why am I pulling out the guns? Attack of the yawns going on. Man. Hmm. Get the Bravo Squad prepped. Alpha Squad went after that just to work 20 minutes ago, and they've gone dark. Sisterhood. Interesting. Well, now there's something interesting to keep me awake a little bit longer. Oh, well, now it's over. All right. Those were my best troops. They weren't very good. Tell me what I need to know, and I won't be gone from here. Where did you send her? You think I'd betray her? She would hurt me in ways you can't imagine. The name of the ship. Your life hangs on the answer, Lieutenant. You can kill me, but one of us will take you down, Justicar. <laughs> What was the name of the ship she left on? Go to hell! Odd name for a ship. Find peace in the embrace of the goddess. <laughs> My 
My name is Samara, a servant of the Justicar Code. My quarrel is with these Eclipse sisters, but I see three well-armed people before me. Are we friend or foe? That Merc was wounded and helpless. Do you just kill anyone who won't help you? If my cause is important enough, yes. Are you different? Yes. I've killed enemies, but always with good reason. I answer to a code that is clearly defined. If my actions are true to that code, I am just. If they are not, I am unjust. I don't pretend it is a simple matter, or that it seems right to everyone. But I sleep well at night, and that is more than most can say. How may I be of service to you? I'm going up against suicidal odds, and I need the best. That's you. I sense the truth in what you say, and it humbles me. But I seek an incredibly dangerous fugitive. I cornered her here, but the Eclipse sisters smuggled her off-world. I must find the name of the ship she left on before the trail goes cold. I wish you were willing to go with the human, Justicar. I've been ordered to take you into custody if you won't leave. You risk a great deal by following your orders, Detective. Fortunately, I will not have to resist. My code obligates me to cooperate with you for one day. After that, I must return to my investigation. I will be able to release you that soon. You won't be able to stop me. Uh, the human is lost here. Can one of you clarify? I was trying to convince her to leave with you, but just a car is in their code. The detective has been ordered to detain me. I can't force her to disobey an order. And after a day, Samara fights her way out of custody, killing anyone in her way? I am afraid so. There must be some way we can all get what we need. I see a way. While I am in custody, you find the name of that ship. Do that, and I will join you. Then the code will be satisfied. Yeah, that's good. Can you tell me more about Justicars? We are individuals who have forsworn family, children, and worldly possessions aside from some weapons and armor. We travel a sorry space righting wrongs as defined by the ancient code we have each memorized. Ilium may be dominated by Asari, but it isn't in Asari's space. My quarry fled to this place. I am sworn to hunt her down, and I will follow anywhere she goes. It is rare for a Justicar to leave Asari's space, but I must follow my oath. If I suffer for it, I will accept that. A moment ago you refused to give up your investigation, but now you'll swear to follow me? If I stay, I will be compelled to kill many innocents to escape incarceration. Like me. I may be killed, and my quarry would be free to continue murdering. If I come with you and survive your mission, I can resume my investigation. To do that, I need the ship's name to track her to her next hiding place. It is a simple choice. Makes sense. Do you have any leads? The Volus merchant Pitney Four is tied to this. Eclipse Mercs are preparing to kill him. Uh -huh. Get the truth out of him. He may know a way into the Eclipse base. Well, I've got to get back to my station. And I guess I've got to take you with me. Thank you, Shepard. I'm gonna stop right there to be continued at a later time. I will put what happens next right after this. Again, Earth Clan. Did you speak to the detective? Mm-hmm. Why are the mercs after you? I know nothing about any mercenaries, Earth Clan. I'm merely an innocent merchant trying to make his way in life. Don't give me that bull jive. The Eclipse are out for your blood. 
I need your help to break into their base. Shouldn't we work together? Yes. You're right, Earth Clan. I'm desperate. I've got angry mercs after me, and now this Asari Justicar. Let's talk. I smuggled a chemical onto Ilium that boosts biotic powers in combat. It also is toxic. I may have, um, forgotten to mention that to the Eclipse. So they are perturbed and want to kill me. It sounds like you're a swindler and your actions finally caught up with you. True and true. But I haven't survived as a merchant this long without being able to tell when there's a deal in the making. You want something. The Eclipse recently smuggled someone off-world. I need the name of the ship she left on. I don't know about their people smuggling operations. They must keep records in their base. I do have a pass card they issued me to bring my goods in. Well, I, I had to return that one, but I happened to make a copy. Clever. Take it, <laughs> but be careful. Each Eclipse sister commits a murder to earn her uniform. They are all dangerous. I am dangerous. Can I talk to you? Cops don't admit it. The Eclipse Sisters run this area. Okay. How you doing? All right. I 
don't need to change my loadouts. Hey! Scimitar Assault Shotgun. Okay, I need to change my loadouts. I was using Viscerator. Deadly at short range, ineffective at long, so it's a shotgun. Right. Effective against shields and body, weak against armor. Weak against armor. Let's give it a try, shall we? Okay. That one actually easier right now. Go. Oh, God is here. Hey, don't let them see me. If they see me, don't let them kill me. What am I doing here? Looks good in that outfit. I actually have to. Hello, Squiddy. Don't touch it. Don't even touching that. Wait, stop! I didn't fire my weapon once. I pretended to because the other Eclipse sisters were watching, but I didn't really shoot. I'm not one of them. I'm new. I thought being Elnor the mercenary would be cool, but I didn't know what they were really like. Uh huh. What do they do here that you don't like, Elnora? I thought we'd be flying around the galaxy shooting up bad guys and stuff, right? But no. They just sell red sand and illegal weapons tech. They even smuggled an Ardat Yakshi off world. What is that? What does Ardat Yakshi mean? It's an ancient Asari word for something that I thought was just a superstition until now. Mm -hmm. It means demon of the night winds. I didn't think they were real, but the boss said this scary lady was one. Okay. What do they do here that you don't like, Eldora? I thought we'd be flying around the galaxy shooting up bad guys, oh. but no. They just sell right. red sand and illegal weapons tech. They even smuggled an Ardat What ship did they use for the smuggle? Wow, I have no idea. It was a few days ago, and like I said, I'm new. They didn't tell me anything. That's Graham. Get out of here, Elnora. If you so much as jaywalk, I will find you. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm going. Thank you. And I'll cut off your little toes so you walk crooked. This is valuable. Biotic damage. Hello. The girls are gonna love it. <laughs> I shot you in the head. Warning, hostile force using non standard ammunition. Impact imminent. That is better. I love it when they dance. Enemies in trouble. Hey. Check your fire damage. Warning. Hostile forces in non-standard ammunition. Impact imminent. Owie. Someone 
is a thingy mount. That's not ammunition, that's a... Okay, yeah, that's like a... I get it. Does that dissipate? Doesn't really look like it. Alright. Here we go. They've seen us.
I heard that. I heard that. Click, click, click. There you go. Oh, let's see something. No, I didn't. Oh, I see a big something. Oh boy. Wrong gun, apparently. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Myself as refined as Are you froze? <laughs> That's funny. That's funny right there. Are you dead though? Oh, I guess you did. Maybe I should use cryo. Where'd you go? Popsicle. Okay. Ha! Awesome. Yeah, really, what? Oh, hey! That ain't right. Go for the optics, Tatika. Go for the optics! Bye. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, so the pistol's good against the armor stuff. That's fine. Uh, okay. I think pick up here. Okay, by passing. Shipping. This looks like a shipping manifest. It shows the Pitney 4 sold 2,000 units of Minigen X3 to the Eclipse, along with 600 units of red sand. This isn't the information Samara needs, but it does implicate the Volus. I'm sure Detective Anaya would be interested in this. Yep. We've got to keep moving. I've got some evidence. Hello, Niftu Cal. You don't look alright. I am a biotic god. I think things, and they happen. Fear me, lesser creatures, for I am biotics made flesh. You need help. <laughs> you need help. You stand before the mightiest biotic ever! You're gonna die. Yes, the Asari injecting so many drugs into me was terrifying. But then I began to smell my greatness. Uh, you probably pooped yourself. They may laugh when I fall over, but they don't know what I know in my head. But I know that I am amazingly powerful. Fear me! Are you part of Pitney Forest Trade Group? When I was mortal, I worked for Pitney. Poor soul is probably terrified that I have not returned. He hasn't reported your disappearance. Probably so his departure won't get delayed. Pitney will pick money over friends every time. Bah! I will wreak a just revenge upon his people. But first, the leader of these mercenaries is in the next room. I shall toss Wasea about like a rag doll. Go ahead. Shepard, having this incapacitated Volus running around our battlefield could compromise us. I will tear her apart. My biotics are unstoppable. Um... Wasea will tear you apart. Take a nap. You'll feel better. Are you mad? <laughs> I'm unstoppable. Feasting on her biotic rich blood will be the last. Uh. Yeah. But. Great wind. Biotic god. I'm. I. What was I saying? I'm. Tired. You. May be right. Yes, I'm tired. I'll nap. Destroy the universe later. Good idea. So much for godhood. A fickle thing. Hmm. What was he getting? Grubs? You going fishing? Is this a fishing bait vending machine? I like this place. Up in his locker. Is there another gun sitting here? Am I just supposed to? Seven. Oh, give me money. 
I think we're fine back here. Let's do that. Yeah, one of those things. All right, here we go. Nice face paint. Everything's gone to hell since we smuggled that filthy creature off-world. First a Justicar shows up, now you. At least I can take pleasure in turning your head into a pulpy mass! You missed. Incoming! <clears throat> Thank you, guys. Let's see. And... of that ship must be around here. That was kind of pathetic. Jessica are here, probably looking for one. The one we sit off on the AML Demeter. I was happy to see her go. She's gonna do the bone. I just hope this Jessica doesn't mess up my operation. That must be the ship Samara was looking for. Should we head back to the police station and give her the name, or look around first? Eh, around. You've got time. Let's look around some more. I want to go up here. There's to be something up here I can get. There's nothing up here. How unusual. Hmm. There's nothing here. Okay. Finished looking around. I don't want to tell it. I don't want to look around it. 
Gotta go out that way. Ah, I turned this way. Should we go back to the spaceport main yard? Yeah. Let's go. I don't know what he was expecting me to find, but there's nothing in there. be a just a car when I was young. Every Asari does, I guess. Cops don't admit it, but the Eclipse sisters run this area. I don't know what they put in me, but I thought I was... Well, you saw. Anyway, thank you, Shepard. No problem. You chatty? Okay. Hit me! Thank you for removing the Eclipse threat, Earth Clan. It will take them months to rebuild their organization. Also, merely out of curiosity, when you were poking about, did you perhaps run across a shipping manifest that belongs to me? <laughs> you never know when something like this might come in handy. If it might change your mind, Earthclad, returning that manifest would be very profitable for you. If you give it to the detective, her reward will be a pat on the back. I think you'll be more than that. I'm very charming. Have something that'll encourage the Justicar to leave, show it to her. Okay. I've got the name of the ship. Your fugitive left here two days ago on the AML Demeter. Shepard, you impress me. You fulfilled your part of the bargain, and I will fulfill mine. I am ready to leave immediately, if that will satisfy your superiors, Detective. You're free to go, Justicar. It has been an honor having you in my station. And it's nice you didn't kill me, too. The Eclipse smuggled an Ardat Yakshi off-world. She's who you're really after, isn't she? You continue to impress. Yes, I was here tracking the Ardat Yakshi. She is a dangerous criminal, and I will bring her to justice. After your mission is complete, of course. You're sworn to follow a code that dictates your decisions. But I'm running a military operation. You wonder if I will refuse to follow orders because of my code? I can't allow that to happen. By agreeing to follow you, I am compelled to swear the most difficult of Justicar oaths, the third oath of subsumation. After I do, your orders will override the code. You should know, however, that I'll still give you my opinion if the situation warrants. Yes, women are the same all whatever species they're in. The Normandy is docked near the main trading floor. I'll see you aboard. I must be sworn to your service so that I am never forced to choose between your orders and the code. By the code, I will serve you, Shepard. Your choices are my choices. Your morals are my morals. Your wishes are my code. I never thought I'd see a Justicar swear an oath like that. If you make me do anything extremely dishonorable, I may need to kill you when I'm released from my oath. Oh well, sure. I can see that this is a very important act, Samara. Thank you. Truly, the life of a Justicar can get lonely. I admit I am looking forward to serving with a company of honorable heroes. Shall we return to your ship? I have business with Anaya. 
I need to speak to the detective. Thanks for getting Samara out of my district. I can tell my granddaughters about meeting a Justicar. And you just up my chances of living long enough to have grandkids. I have proof that Eclipse killed the Volus merchant. Let's see what you've got there. Interesting. But I can't verify it. It would be inadmissible. I vouch for Shepard, and any evidence he brings forward. I accept the judgment of the Justicar. Thanks, Shepard. I wasn't sure about trusting a stranger, and a human at that. But you came through. It's a shame this Elnora escaped. But I'll get her. At least you put her on the run. Okay, enough with all the congratulations. I've still got a spiraling crime rate. I have proof that Pitney 4 smuggled in red sand and illegal weapons tech. I'll send in some officers to arrest him and his cohorts. This is a big help, Shepard. I can't do much to thank you, but we do have a small discretionary bounty fund. Take this. I will take it. And goodbye, madam. All right. We got a justicar. And some point things in Samara and better shotgun. Bio stuff, some money, and a plan thing. Okay. And how about a new cutscene? Oh yeah, let's see if Jacob gives her the funny look or whatever. Welcome to the Normandy, Samara. No? Okay. I've studied your profile extensively. With your skills, I think you'll be an excellent addition to I'm our sure team. Sure, you did. Thank you. From an organization such as yours, that is high praise indeed. I think he's studying more than her profile. I've seen Samara's biotic powers at work. They're substantial. We still don't know what we're going to find when we hit the Collectors. I will be prepared for whatever we encounter. Where shall we put you? A room that looks out on the great empty void would be most comforting. Put her in the observation room on Deck 3. Thank you. I must meditate on the day's events. Alright, Mr. Official. Let's see if I can grab. Go ahead and get that. Uh, anything here? Heavy pistol critical. Ooh, sometimes double damage. Ah, let's go. Shotgun shield. Okay. I'm not finished with you. Got a cool down. Okay. Bounty duration. Everybody needs a little more duration. You got some shielding. I need some platinum. Instant shield regeneration, that's cool. Take damage. Yes, and then Inferno. Powers. Yeah, that's fine. And Say hello now that she's aboard. We'll call it a Where is she going? Over here. 
here is grunts, eh? No. No. Okay. Hang in here. Oh, Edie's here. I don't care about Edie's here. Ooh. That's a neat trick. Okay. She's possessed. Shepard. Maybe I should leave. How are you? I've spent much of the last 400 years on my own. It is nice to have a colleague to chat with. I may be rusty at it, however. If you are patient, I would love to talk. Okay. How much do you know about our mission? I know that I've sworn an oath to follow you, and that you seek to destroy the Collectors. That is enough for me. You don't want to know why the Collectors need to be fought? When you live by a code that compels you to harsh action, you learn the dangers of curiosity. If I must kill a man because he has done wrong, do I really wish to know that he is a devoted father? Hmm. I'd like to hear more about the criminal you were chasing on Nos Astra. I hope you will understand if I wish to avoid this topic. It is deeply tied to my code and beliefs. You might say it is personal. Hmm. All right. What do you think of Cerberus? I've heard rumors, but learned long ago to form my own impressions. There is too much room for interpretation in the opinions of others. Why were you willing to work for Cerberus when you didn't have first-hand knowledge? I work for you, Shepard. Our methods may be different, but our goals are not. Typo. I should get back to work. It has been my pleasure, Commander. Okay, okay. See you whenever Kelly tells me you want to talk. That's how I do it. Hey, Kelly, are there any new messages? Kelly, you're not here. Okay. Just a minute. I'm going. Wrong floor. Kelly, what's up? The elusive man wishes to speak to you in the debriefing room, Commander. Uh, I think he can wait a day. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to talk to the elusive man right now. So I'm not going to. <laughs> Have a good day. 